Hi everyone, my name is Mayra. Welcome to Aaron Travels. So in today's video, Roger is working. I'm gonna leave you here his website uh, if you're interested in doing an event. But today in this video, I'm gonna give you a travel guide for New York. So ready? Let's get started. Okay, so we visited New York for three days and two nights. We spent a total of $512 for both. I'm gonna give you a list of all of our expenses so that way you have a better idea how we spend our money. New York City has three different international airports, JFK, Network Liberty International, and LGA, which is La Guardia. Roger and I arrive in La Guardia from Fort Lauderdale. So once you arrive in La Guardia, you actually have a free shuttle that can take you to Jackson Heights uh, subway terminal. So we uh, got off on um, Jackson Heights on Roosevelt Avenue 74th Street. And then from there, we took the subway uh, bound seven uh, to Manhattan and we got off on the famous Grand Central. So it took us from um, Jackson Heights to Manhattan and Grand Central. It took us about 25 minutes. And then once we got off, we actually walked about 11 minutes to Times Square. Okay, so as you notice, we paid zero dollars for our stay, and the reason is because we were able to use our travel points from our credit card. So this was actually our first time uh, using Redeem points, and uh, the cost was two hundred and ninety-eight dollars. But with our points, we paid zero dollars. Uh, we stayed in Radio City apartments, and uh, we enjoy staying here because location, location, location. It was located on 12th, it's located on 12th Street, so we were able to walk to a lot of locations. Uh, so I recommend it, especially if you have travel points. Um, honestly, New York is really expensive for stays, and uh, that's why I was uh, really happy that we were able to use these points. Uh, I had another place to stay, Arlo, uh, but because this was kind of a a surprise trip i couldn't reserve it on time uh, but i just wanted to provide that information just in case if you want to compare locations all right so in new york city you have four locations to see the city views roger and i we chose the top of the rock uh, so this one is located on the 67th floor uh, you have 360 views and we chose uh, to see a sunset from here. Uh, you have great views of the city. We actually arrived before sunset, so you have great views of the city. And then, of course, we stay for the sunset and a little bit after. So I um, enjoyed the views from here. I do think it's overpriced. It's super um, crowded at this time because of the sunset, of course. And the reason I say I think it's overpriced is because in Singapore we pay $20 and included a drink for City View. So in New York it was $60 per person. I just think it's overpriced. I still enjoyed it, I'm not gonna lie, but I still think it's overpriced, but you choose. I also recommend you to go to Beast and Butterflies. So this is actually a, a restaurant and it has beautiful views of the city of New York. And uh, we spent, I think, about $60. We just bought some wings and Roger and I don't really drink. We actually got hot chocolate because it was 60 degrees. Okay, we live in South Florida, so 60 degrees for us is freezing temperatures. <laughs> Uh, but the views, they had great music. They have it on Friday, Saturday. So I recommend you to go to go there and especially because it's not crowded. So I really enjoy this place and I recommend you to go there. And of course, you have to go and see Times Square. So Times Square, we visited during the day uh, when we arrived because our hotel, like I said, is really close. I think it was like six minutes walking distance. So we went there at different times of the day uh, and I recommend you to do both because it's a, a different experience. So the tip for when you go to Times Square, just know that this is like one of the most famous places in, in New York. So you're always gonna see a lot of people walking back and forth. 
so just have um, even for the whole New York I recommend you to have tennis shoes so that way you are more comfortable walking back and forth everywhere uh, also keep in mind here that if people want to take pictures with you they will charge you that's just one tip that I heard from my local New Yorker uh, but yeah, I, uh, Roger and I enjoy there going at night as well because you see all the lights, they look different. Uh, for us, it's, it was worth it because we were only like six, six minutes away walking distance. So I recommend you to definitely visit Times Square. Of course, I recommend you to stop in Central Park, New York. Roger thought that it was going to be a really small park, but it's actually more than 800 acres. So they have volleyball courts, playground courts, uh, walking trails, uh, man-made um, lakes. It's huge. I highly recommend you to go there for a picnic, for a walk. Um, they also have a restaurant in there, so you have a choice. Uh, to either do a walking, hire somebody to give you a tour or even rent a bike to do it. But highly recommend you to go there. If you like to play chess as much as Roger does, you are gonna love Bryan Park. Uh, Bryan Park is a much smaller park, but you can go there and play against other people uh, with chess. So highly recommend you to go there if you like chess and it's just a small park they actually have like a coffee place where you can have your coffee tables so it's a really nice area to take a break and only a few steps from Barion park you're gonna find the new york public library if you like libraries they actually have free tours available for the public roger and i just spent a few minutes here we took a peek and kind of like did our own version of tour so i highly recommend it to those who like libraries and take a free tour I also recommend you to go to the Rockefeller Center. Uh, they have a, a skating rink here. It was, we visited in spring, uh, but I actually would like to go back in the winter so I can ice skate at this very same location. But in um, spring when we visited, it was a skating rink and it was still fun, uh, fun to watch people skating and dancing because they had a DJ at the, DJ at the time we visited. So recommended. So the reason why we only spent $30 on New York in transportation is because we mostly use the uh, subway in, in New York and we only purchased one car uh, and we just uh, loaded it with uh, $30 and it was enough for both of us. So we took the subway from uh, Manhattan to Lower Manhattan to visit the famous Dumbo Bridge. So this bridge is a really famous one. You're always gonna see this in the pictures, but let me tell you that in person, besides uh, that you're gonna see a lot of people taking pictures and videos from this place. It's actually really nice and it's kind of uh, a very iconic location when you see it in person. So I highly recommend you uh, to go there and, and uh, go and visit and then from there from a few steps from there you can actually start walking uh, to cross the Brooklyn Bridge uh, it was really hot at that time we were uh, about to start our walk so I actually purchased myself a hat there's a lot of vendors uh, that sell these hats I, I think I purchased it for like seven dollars or something and um, it was 20 minutes in total. I think it was uh, worth it uh, to walk the bridge. There's another option that you can do it on a bike. Uh, it is up to you. So from there, from the Brooklyn Bridge, you can actually actually see uh, the Liberty statue and you can walk uh, to the other side to start seeing the other locations. So in uh, my opinion, I think it's worth walking the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, another reason why we mostly use tennis shoes in New York and we also noticed that local people um, that live there actually, uh, also use a lot of tennis shoes so highly recommend you to bring your tennis shoes so that way you are comfortable walking everywhere and enjoy New York. So walking the Brooklyn Bridge you're gonna see a lot of vendors, people selling uh, souvenirs, hats, even fruits. Um, but once you cross the bridge, you actually in a walking distance of, of the other locations like Ground Zero, 
formerly known as the Twin Towers in New York. So Raj and I uh, paid a visit to this location and honestly it's a very emotional experience being there. Um, you start seeing all the names of the people who died uh, when the 9-11 happened and then for me you know I was thinking of uh, after that uh, people in the war and just innocent people so many died out of this um, uh, event and not only that but uh, as you guys may already know I am a Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer survivor and one thing that uh, my med medical team told me is that even though they still don't know what causes Hodgkin's lymphoma but they uh, noticed that after 9-11 with all these fumes and just uh, different toxic fumes around uh, the area at that time there were a lot of cases uh, of uh, this type of cancer after in New York City area so you know I just being there it was very like emotional just thinking like of death and just uh, so many innocent people died you know uh, during this event after with the war and like now that was just new information for me like that more young people were um, actually diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma after this event so it was very shocking uh, it's emotional but I still recommend you to go there and you know take a look then only walking distance from there you can go to the famous Wall Street and walk around there we actually went there on the weekend so there was not um, a lot of people walking meaning local people working there walking uh, and there there are um, famous sites like the New York stock market uh, we pass by and also there is this statue which is very famous the bull uh, there was big lines of people um, trying to take a picture of, of this statue or a piece of art uh, we just passed by and you know recorded it and uh, I took a picture in a different location I didn't want to make a line um, and then in front of the New York store market there's another statue which is famous they call it the fearless girl honestly I don't remember reading about this so when I seen um, the statue there I started reading and that's when I learned about what it means and it's a little bit confusing but anyway so yeah I just wanted to provide that information and maybe you guys know more about these statues than me so there's another famous structure in New York the vessel and at the time we visited it was uh, closed meaning we, we couldn't really use the stairs to take a look at the whole building inside only um, we were able to go in the middle the reason it was closed is because there has been three different suicides so that's why it still remains close to the public I don't know um, if how that's gonna change in the future but I did wanted to provide that information okay so now let's get started with the food so if you're a foodie I have a few recommendations for you so for breakfast we went to this location it's called pick a bagel so we had breakfast and we ate breakfast bagel so they were very filling and I believe um, they were really good uh, Roger said he liked them as well uh, so yeah we I think we spent like $34 for both uh, with these breakfast bagels two uh, and uh, two drinks actually three bagels because I wanted to try uh, the breakfast and then they have different types of cream cheese so I wanted to try another one so we paid like $34 for our breakfast there and of course you have to try the pizza here in New York the famous New York pizza so there are two locations that I found a lot of people recommend and one is Pizza Suprema and Joe's Pizza so we actually only had time to go to Joe's Pizza there was a big line and uh, I just got more excited because I thought maybe this is you know we're gonna have a good pizza we um, spent about $20 I think we tried like three different kinds just to uh, see how each uh, would taste 
and uh, the cheese one, Roger and I really like this one. The pizza, the sauce is fresh, the it's a thin crust and crunchy. So I recommend you Joe, uh, Joe's Pizza. We only spend um, like $20. So there's another location very famous in, in New York to eat and that's that famous Adele's, which is 100% halal. You have to try it. Um, Roger and I decided to try it. There is a big line, I'm not lying. It took us maybe an hour waiting in line uh, to be able to get our food. Uh, and I noticed a lot of local people would go and buy food here. So that's, uh, I got really excited when I seen local people buying food because uh, that kind of gave me the, um, confidence that this food was going to be good. So in New York, uh, downtown Manhattan, you actually see a lot of vendors outside. So that was kind of nice because that's really lively. And I miss that from like other countries and the US that's not very common. Usually downtown areas are very like dead, not a lot of people, but in New York it's a different. So uh, we got to try it and we got uh, two different plates highly recommend you to try it we only spend uh like 22 dollars for two different plates and a drink so yeah recommended if you are a coffee drinker i got coffee from about time and i really like their coffee latte so while i was drinking my hot coffee in the morning it was like 60 degrees i noticed that most new yorkers only get iced coffee which for me, I thought that was different because the weather was cold, but then again, I live in South Florida, so I'm sure 60 degrees for New Yorkers is like summer, but for me, I was drinking my hot coffee. But anyway, I recommend you uh, the coffee here. I'm a coffee drinker, so if you're a little picky with coffee like I am, you might like this location. So depends uh, when you visit New York, sometimes they have uh, different events going around. The time we visited, there was a uh, Thai event and uh, there were uh, Thai food vendors. So Roger and I love Thai food, so we got to eat um, papaya salad and other goodies. Uh, so yeah, so we only were there for three full days and two nights, so we didn't have enough time to visit uh, the Liberty uh, Statue of Liberty. So because we were uh, staying in downtown Manhattan, we were able to walk to a lot of these locations. We even walked to the St. Patrick's uh, Church. We walked to the Empire State Building and to a lot of different locations in New York by staying um, in this location, you can actually walk everywhere. I know this is where the stays are more expensive, but I think it's worth it if you have and are using travel points. So that way uh, everything is nearby and you are able to see more locations in a short amount of time instead of you know having to take the subway uh, for 30 minutes and things like that. So that's my recommendation. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.